When I was growing up in bands, the only dream we had was we got to go get in the studio. It always seemed like this incredibly cool laboratory. The entire focus of this place is about creating this art. We worked in these amazing facilities. We, we could have anything we wanted. It's the love of creating. Part of our job is to give it longevity and depth. The definition of a recording studio has changed so much over the years. Most of the sessions I do now, uh, like nine out of 10, I'm doing in my house. Over the past couple of years, it's just like uh, things have slowed down and slowed down and slowed down. I'm making less money for the same amount of work. Almost anything goes in terms of stylistic approach. We're gonna have a very tough time making a living in this business. Bigger recording studios that depended on major label product being their bread and butter. A lot of those studios have gone under because the profit has kind of fallen out of that. We kind of started seeing a bunch of people at the record label just getting fired. I think today's Billy Corgan doesn't get to buy a Jaguar, you know? The music business imploded because people didn't want to foresee what was going to happen with how technology was going to change the music business. It's happened in journalism, it's happening everywhere, nobody cares about content. They think of it as a product that's replaceable. I didn't enter music to become a typist. The work is not as satisfying these days to sit in front of your computer by yourself and fix music. I think the best records are going to be done when you don't realize you're making them. This has been this perfect marriage of like lowering budgets but more efficient recording techniques and technology. We're seeing a lot of incredible talent develop in bedrooms. If it's just you and your laptop and you know a couple hundred bucks worth of gear, you can have your creative outlet. It's in our court. What can we do to continue to be relevant? 